Kamina Huawei as its developer's first work actually. From no more than a month ago too, number one we have Fortune's Run, which is in short, it's actually a mix of Doom, maybe Duke Nukem, the old classic from 30 years ago, and then recently released, I mean, came out a few years ago though, Ghost Runner which has its sequel in the making due out later this year. It's a shooting and hack and slashing first person retro style classic as you could tell, with a story similar, rather similar to DSX games. As the trailer, game said to be coming to pieces only apparently by the end of September. If you're familiar with the Fears to Fathom series, you're probably gonna love Incident at Grove Lake, which is a alien abduction story-based investigation horror game. It takes you about just a few hours tops, not just that, it's a free-to-play game and it's quite fine-tuned too. Here you do play as a worker from Area 51, I mean the trailer is really short to see how it looks. Game is free on Edge, you can play it right now. Sitting on Steam through a demo for about a month now, if you missed it. Number 3 we have The Luna Effect, a psychological horror puzzle game where every action is questioned in the game, every clue is to be vital, and every second in it is precious. See the game is inspired by, the, I mean as stated by developers, art style of Resident Evil and the Silent Hills, putting its protagonist on just the same a rather dark and unfamiliar path, waking on a strange mansion, we must find a way out by figuring out why isn't that up there in the first place. Take a quick look. Four, from actually I don't even remember when this one came around, maybe two years ago. We mentioned it maybe last year. Probably what you'd get if you mixed Doom, Dino Crisis, Resident Evil, and even Silent Hills. The Compound Fracture is actually the first work of its indie developers. It's set in the year 1996 and you take on the role of this enforcer trying to set this dinosaur crisis nonsense back to normal. Think Duke meet Dino Crisis. Here, game set to be coming out to pieces only in about two months. Two weeks ago, nothing. 
Chronogas is ready to cut their losses and shut the portal down, even if that means leaving hundreds of people for dead. You'll hear on the news that they died in an, in an oil rig explosion or something, and nobody, not you or Osha or anybody else, is going to be able to do a damn thing about it. Enforcer. I didn't know who else to call. Terra Project, or Project Terra on the other hand, is gotta be perhaps at the moment the most underrated yet visually stunning top-down roguelike platformer on the horizon. This game's available on its beta as I'm speaking, in case you don't know what it is. It has been in development for over years now, and it is inspired a lot by the crosscode games, about with broader elements and a different sort of campaign and feel. Games set to be released by the end of the year for PCs and consoles as well. Have any of you here ever watched the movie Lighthouse? Came out 2019, Willem Dafoe was in it? Guys, well, assuming you have, this thing over here going by the name No One Lives Under the Lighthouse is probably the closest to a video game you can get hands on today to that movie. It's a very atmospheric horror game set on a very little and foggy island, which you have just arrived at after the previous keeper has, for whatever reason, gone missing. You need to take over his duties and watch after the light. Last revealed roughly a year ago, next up we've got over here Conscript. It's a survival horror thriller described by its developers as a love letter to Resident Evil and Silent Hills. Conscript actually had a pretty successful campaign, after which now has a demo available on Steam where you can have a little bit of a taste of the action yourself. The full game, however, is set to be coming out later this year. A 
Available on Itch in its current state for the price of 5 bucks, coming over to Steam as a full game though August 1st this year. Number 8 we have Pigsaw. It's an action FPS described by the developers as a fever dream of a first person shooter, survival horror, and a stealth game combined together. In which you're actually trapped in a human slaughterhouse and you have to just use whatever you have and do whatever you gotta do by any means necessary to stay alive and eventually escape. Check it out, this is how it looks. Inspired by 80s slasher films such as Texas Chainsaw Massacre and The Hills Have Eyes, Stay Out of the House seeks to immerse players in a nostalgic and terrifying atmosphere set between the borders of rural Texas and Oklahoma in the mid-1980s. Available on Steam and other platforms as well, for a little over a month ago we have a immersive sim survival horror, one of the spookiest games released for the past few months, and in the list today of course, one hell of a resemblance to Night Shift, a game called Stay Out of the House. In which you are in this house of a very sick maniac or serial killer and you have to constantly avoid getting spotted or anything for that matter to be able to finally even breathe let alone escape. It's a very challenging game yet well made and well designed. It takes you about $15 right now and it's available on PCs and consoles as well. Survival and escape. After a bit of exploration, Roxanne comes to realize that the Butcher isn't her only threat. In a seemingly never-ending house of horrors surrounded by other caged victims and severed body parts, the player will come face to face with some of the killer's sadistic family members, such as Grandma or the Baby, who will either hurt Roxanne or reveal her location to the Butcher. Announced roughly a year ago, here with us today with its official gameplay showcasing finally, last but not least we have Shadow of Doubt. It's a classic style, also retro science fiction no wire detective stealth game. Shadow of Doubt you see is available actually on PCs through early access with a lot of positive acclaim of it since last year. Mixing voxel based with 3D and I would say it's a must, I would like to think it's a must play for detective mystery lovers like myself. Game's coming out fully later this year, it's available right now for the price of 20 bucks.